Hello everyone on Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard, also known as Poor Man. And I'm Jennifer, also known as Mrs. Poor Man. And today's video is part two of our linen closet makeover. Welcome back to part two of our linen closet makeover. Uh, last week we uh, installed some cedar planks and if you want to see that video you can click on the link right here uh, or right here or here or oh, whatever. Anyhow, um, we installed cedar planks last week primarily as an insect repellent and we explained that on the first uh, uh, video part one. So again if you want to take a look uh, at that, view that first. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to build our own shelves to install in there. Uh, we got rid of the wire hanger shelves that I just can't stand and so now we're going to do something a little bit different um, and put those in. We were going to put a single solid board straight across but thought that was too boring and also because it's a linen closet we decided to go with slats. So let's take a look at what we did and cue music. We thought about using 3 quarter inch plywood for shelves but since it's a linen closet we thought slatted shelves could provide a little airflow and went with a 1x3 Douglas fir for the shelves and 2x2s for the cleats which we anchored to the walls. Mr. Poorman cut the cleats and I took care of the shelving slat. I then marked where I would be drilling pocket holes and got used to my new toy pocket hole jig and made quick work of it all. Now for sanding, sanding, and sanding. Next we added a coat of poly acrylic. I then attached a 1x2 as a faceplate for the board that will sit at the front of each shelf and will keep the board from bowing. We then use spacers to mount the cleats. We then use pocket hole screws to secure the backboard to the wall. This too was to help prevent the board from bowing. It was now just a matter of laying all the other boards in place, pre-drilling, then securing them to the cleats with wood screws.
The last step was to cut a few strips of quarter round to install on the bottom of the closet. And there you have it, our completed linen closet makeover. We are definitely very pleased with how this turned out. We have a larger closet that we need to renovate, but that will be for another day. We hope you enjoy this video, and next week we will be installing outdoor motion lights. So until then, bye-bye.